Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How's everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today I'm going to show you how to make several beautiful glam table decor pieces. The first piece will be a simple but elegant mirrored candle holder, which will go alongside a matching vase reminiscent of a pineapple sitting on a beautiful base that doubles as a coaster. To begin, I will show you the materials, and unless otherwise stated, all the materials are from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. For the mirrored candle holder, we will need a frameless mirror. The one I have chosen is 4x4 square and it was bought in bulk from Amazon for less than a buck a piece. Dollar Tree sells similar ones in a slightly larger size. We will also need a pack of silver plastic spoons, four diamond shaped acrylic crystals and four silver caps taken from leftover Christmas ball ornaments. For the pineapple vase, we will also need an empty glass jar. This one used to hold spaghetti sauce that I washed out. If you don't have any glass jars lying around, you can also substitute with a cylindrical glass vase. For the base, we will need one of these decorative mirrors and some clear square acrylic gems. These loose flat back ones were purchased in bulk from Alibaba. But if you are lucky, you can also find similar ones in sticker, sticker format from Dollarama. We also need some white vase filler and some white paint or in my case, leftover white primer originally purchased from my local hardware store. To help us out with today's craft project, we will also be using some Mod Podge, some clear tacky glue, and our handy dandy hot glue gun. My glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, we will be snapping off the round part of each silver plastic spoon. Depending on the size of your mirror and jar, you may need several packs of silver plastic spoons. Dollar Tree sells them in a 24 pack in case you need to stock up. Next, take the round part of the spoons and apply some hot glue to the bottom third of the spoon on the back side. Then adhere each spoon to the edge of the square mirror to form a frame around the mirror. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once you have the entire perimeter of the frame covered, go back in and apply a second row of spoons. Next we are going to build some legs to adhere to the bottom of the mirror. Take each silver ornament cap and snip off the ends of each until the bottom is flat. Then apply some hot glue inside the opening and insert the pointy end of one diamond shaped acrylic gem inside the opening. Repeat until all four are done. Then flip the mirror over to the bottom so that it is facing up and adhere each of the four legs to each of the four corners of the mirror. And here is what our mirrored candle holder looks like. This was so easy and quick to make, yet looks so beautiful and glam. Mm -hmm. 
For the base of our pineapple vase, we will be breaking off the decorative frame pieces from this mirror. Once the frame pieces are removed, paint the rest of the mirror frame white. The paint job does not have to be perfect, just good enough so that the dark coloring no longer shows through. Here you can see I'm using an X-Acto knife to help detach the frame pieces. Once enough of, of the frame is cut, you can use your hands to gently snap off each frame piece. Be careful with this step. You may also want to use some safety goggles to protect your eyes in case some of the pieces end up flying off. Once the paint has dried, use some clear tacky glue or some hot glue to adhere pieces of the clear square loose flat back acrylic gems along the side all around the mirror. And here is what the base looks like so far, but we're not done yet. Take a small paintbrush and apply a generous amount of Mod Podge to the top of the mirror frame where the paint has dried. This is where we are going to apply the white vase filler to. You can apply as much or as little as you prefer. I'll be applying a generous amount so that it looks like freshly fallen snow. Once the first layer of vase filler is applied and dried, apply a second layer of Mod Podge and sprinkle more vase filler if you would like. Make sure after the final layer of vase filler, you apply a final coat of Mod Podge to seal everything into place. And here is what the base looks like. As you can see here, it can double as a coaster as well. And finally, onto the pineapple vase. For this, take the round part of the silver plastic spoons and adhere them all around the glass jar, starting from the top. You will want to apply some hot glue to the bottom third of each spoon. Once the first row is done, continue to apply the second row and third row all the way down to the bottom of the glass jar.
And here is what the glass jar looks like so far. It is already taking the shape of a pineapple. You can see here that I only cover barely half of each spoon as I apply each row. bottom of the glass jar and I have decided to add a silver crystal gem ribbon to the very bottom. This will add a subtle but glamorous design element to the vase when we are done. And now on to the final row of spoons right above the ribbon. For the final pieces, you may need to space them out carefully so that they all fit nicely on the bottom row. And if you need to, you can also remove the spoons and re-space them to fill in any gaps. And here is the final look for our pineapple vase. I have placed it on top of the mirrored coaster base, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. Comment down below and let me know if this vase reminds you of a pineapple, and which piece you prefer, the pineapple vase or the matching mirrored candle holder. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!